This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So the Super Yacht Utopia 4 has been involved in a second accident in as many years. Almost two years to the day of the prior accident, the 63 meter or 206 foot yacht has crashed into a bridge in Miami. Now the video here shows the yacht hitting the barriers that protect the stanchions of a Miami bridge. I believe the bridge is the Northeast 6th Street Bridge and uh, the bridge leads to the port of Miami. He's in a terrible spot. No, no. Okay, that's what I thought. No. Now, as you can see in the video, the yacht is using engines and thrusters to try to navigate away. So the vessel is not drifting or anything like that. Um, the yacht was unable to prevent the crash, obviously. Now, according to several social media posts, the yacht was trying to pass under the bridge, which is near the Virgin Voyager's cruise ship terminal. A cruise ship was underway, being controlled by two tugs, and the current created from the vessels using engines and thrusters, etc., pushed the much smaller yacht into those barriers. Now, today the yacht is uh, just south of where the accident occurred uh, no, at anchor, no doubt assessing the damage to the vessel and making sure the yacht is seaworthy before continuing any onward journey. Now, as mentioned, this comes almost two years to the day of a previous crash involving a small fuel tanker named Tropic Breeze in the Bahamas. Utopia 4 was heading north at 19 knots at night when she hit the stern of a tanker which was delivering fuel to local islands. Now, several members of the Utopia's crew were injured in the crash, some injuries described as life-changing. Now, the incident report blamed both vessels for not maintaining a proper watch. We did a full set of videos on this accident uh, almost, like I said, two years ago. If you're interested in knowing more about it, uh, we'll put a link in the top corner here. Now, the AIS on the tanker Topic Breeze had not been functioning for two years prior to the accident. And the tanker eventually sank and the crew were rescued by a yacht that was nearby when the accident happened. Seven former crew of the Utopia 4 are suing the owner of the vessel, Lauren Riddinger, and claim they have not been paid their hospital bills since the crash. The yacht is also up for sale currently for $49 million. Uh, we contacted the yacht for statements, but no reply has yet been received. Obviously, after the first accident, the vessel sustained quite a lot of damage to the bow, and that was fully repaired, and now they've uh, had another accident. Anyway, stay tuned for updates. All right, we'll move on to the next story. We have an update on the incident that occurred last week at the Lurston shipyard in Bremen. The project Alibaba, which is believed to be over 140 meters in length, the, the, the details have yet to be released by Lurston. Well, that yacht was launched this week after the yacht sustained damage in an incident with the dock door. The yacht will be heading to Blomen Voss shipyard in Hamburg, which is now owned by Lurston for repairs to the bow sustained in that incident. Now, Lurson have released a statement about the cause of the incident, saying that a technical failure of the dock gate forced water out of the dock, thereby pushing the nose of the yacht into the dock curtain. The dock curtain is what we've been referring to as the dock door. It is effectively a metal frame with a uh, canvas cover covering that frame. So we'll move on. We've got an update to the video that we did last night about Mark Zuckerberg. We mentioned in that video that he had been linked to possibility of buying a yacht. Well, he's very skeptical when Mark Zuckerberg's name is, is used because th there have been a number of uh, false stories in the past of him owning various different super yachts. However, it appears there could be something to the story about him potentially buying the yacht known as Project 1010. Now, if you didn't see the video last night, the Dutch government has detained that vessel because it's a brand new vessel that's just been built. It was ordered by a Russian who is now sanctioned, but it was ordered before 
the, the war in Ukraine, and the Dutch government have rules that say that they can't be delivered. Now, according to sources whom have proven reliable in the past, several people have said that Mark Zuckerberg himself has been to the shipyard to tour the Fed shipyard in Amsterdam recently. Now, of course, touring and buying two very different things. There's no confirmation that he's actually purchased the yacht. However, another source has contacted us to say that Zuckerberg has been selling off shares of Meta in the last few months. As you can see here from the government website, the US government website suggesting he's raising money for some reason. According to our source, the amount of the shares sold adds up to over $250 million. So it could be that Zuckerberg is putting together the money for that purchase. Now, I want to address some of the comments that were on that video last night that we posted last night, suggesting that any buyer of this yacht would be buying a sanctioned yacht. It should be noted that the yacht is not sanctioned, nor is it blocked property. Uh, Project 1010 cannot be delivered because of the laws in the Netherlands related to the Ukraine war. However, the yacht has not been seized from the owner. The owner can wait until sanctions are lifted or sell the yacht and will get the funds from the sale once the sanctions are lifted. But he is still very much the owner of that yacht. So if he chooses to sell that yacht, whoever buys it will be buying it legitimately. So the, the, it's not he's not buying, if, if Zuckerberg does buy it, he's not buying a sanctioned yacht. Anyway, stay tuned for updates. As soon as we hear something more, we'll, we'll let you know. All right, so we've got a Friday yacht spot for you. This is Motor Yacht Freedom here, sent in by uh, the Isisman Sea Dogs, Troy at uh, City Center Yachts in Miami. Uh, this is a, a yacht built by Benetti in 2000, which makes it 23 years old, unbelievably. The yacht looks very good for her age, suggesting she's been well looked after. It's a 69 meter or 229 foot yacht with a gross tonnage of 1,975. Now this video was taken in Fort Lauderdale. It's just across the water from Pier 66. And if you're in the market, you can charter this boat for the very reasonable amount of $500,000 a week plus expenses. And if you want to know what the expenses of a yacht that you are paying half a million dollars for for a week, check out the link here to a video that we posted a few years ago of a charter captain explaining what is it you know what the extras are and spoiler alert it's pretty much everything but it's a very interesting video nonetheless from monaco to gibraltar was uh, 865 nautical miles and the crossing was 3396 nautical miles all right if you want to see the 10 part vlog filmed on board a yacht i was on crossing the atlantic and beyond sign up to patreon.com slash sysman you'll find behind the scenes videos and extras not published on youtube including the behind the scenes videos from our recent trip to Italy, Monaco, and France. We also recently made a video showing how we make the Super Yacht News videos, as well as the patron chat series and the patron only Q&A series. A new patron chat series is coming in the next day or two, and there is a recent Q&A on there also. And you'll also get early access to YouTube features advert free. And don't forget to check out the Super Yacht News channel. It's all the goodness of these videos chopped up into bite-sized chunks. All right, if you've got any information about any stories here or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. You know how to do it. You can get us in the email address in the ticket. You can get us on the About page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Get us on Twitter and on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.